Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial, designing an impressive architectural building in Revit 2018 Imperial. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 003 underscore DIAB underscore I. You can also download this file on the website. Go to the architectural tab, building panel and select the door command. You can type DR on your keyboard. When the door command is active, you see the no sign on the cursor. This means you can only paste the door to an hosting object, to an hosting instance. You cannot freely place, place the door on the screen. Now go to the properties palette to see the different doors that the architectural templates offer for us and in the default. The only door at this template for the moment, at this five project for the moment, is the single flush door. Select the 30 by 84 inches and move the mouse cursor. Click into this wall to place the door. Zoom in into this area and place another door here and another door to the store. Now I'll go to the modify door panel. Modify door tab, model panel, and click the load family button. The, in the load family dialog box, make sure that you select the imperial template. I'm going to click this button. If you are in this folder, select the UCS imperial because you are in the imperial project and scroll down and double click the door folder. Double click the residential folder and click to select the first door. Select the door exterior double fixed glass and click open. This brings the specified type dialog box. Select the 60 by 84 and click the OK button to load the door. Place this door here and place the door here. Click the load family button again. Double click the door folder double click residential click on this area and use the down arrow key select the interior single two panel wood and click open in the specified type dialog box select the 36 shut for the 36 by 84 and click ok to load this door place the door into this wall and place the door into this wall press escape to get out of the command Select this door, grid similar, and place another door at the back of the window. Press escape to get out of the command. Go to the modify tab, modify panel, and select the split element command. Zoom in into this area. Click to split this wall. Click to split this wall, this wall, and click to split this wall, split this wall, this wall. Press escape twice to get out of the corner. Go to the modify panel and click the trim extend to corner. Select this and this wall. This wall and this wall. This wall, this wall. This wall and this wall. This wall and this wall. Press escape to get out of the corner. Go to the geometry panel and select the wall joint. Click on this area and select the mitre this area check the mitre this area check the mitre this area check the mitre press the slip to get out of the command select the trim extend single element click the face of this wall and extend this wall this face extend this face extend this face extend Press escape to get out of the corner. Click the trim extend to corner. Select this face, extend, this face, extend. Press escape to get out of the corner. Now go to the architectural tab, reference panel. Go to the architectural tab, work plan panel and select the reference plane. Select the pick line button. Pick this line and this line. Pick this line, this line, this line. Click this line and this line. Press escape to get out of the command. 
now select this wall select this wall to check that if it's orient in the right orientation make sure that the center the location for this wall set to cross center line and click the flip, flip arrow to flip this arrow outside the wall select this wall and flip this arrow outside select this wall this wall is flipped in the wrong in the right direction select this wall and this wall go to the properties palette and change the base offset to seven feet six move the mouse cursor into the drawing area now the reference plan that we draw previously is the reference point of the where the wall was before you use the base offset command now the base offset is above the cutting plan in the view range so the wall is disappeared but the reference plan is in the original location where the wall was before we use the base offset command. Select this wall, this wall, change the base offset to 8 feet 6. Select, select this wall, pull down the control key, this wall, change the base offset to 8 feet 6. Now click the file tab, hover the mouse cursor to save as projects. Rename this file to 00, 0 underscore. 004 underscore diab underscore i and click the save button all right we're going to end this tutorial yeah in this in the next tutorial we'll start to place the windows for our model if you find this tutorial useful please click the like button and share it to your friend if you have any question please leave a comment below if you want to continue this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel please subscribe thanks very much for watching i hope to see you in the next class goodbye